Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Lindsay Brinkley. She's with the Logan County FFA chapter and is the president there. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning. Now, Lindsay, I'm glad to have you on here today. One, because I've kind of watched you grow up and now here you are uh, as a senior leading the Logan County FFA chapter, as well as being the vice president of the Barron River Regional FFA. Great accomplishments. But first, just tell me a little bit about Lindsay. Okay, so I'm Lindsay Brinkley and I go to Logan County High School. Um, Like she said, I'm involved in the FFA there. Aside from FFA, I'm involved with our Cougars for Christ, our FCA program, where I'm the co-captain of that. And I'm also involved in archery, and I've done that for 10 years now. So this is my last season. And then outside of school, I play piano and a couple other instruments. And I'm also really involved with my church, um, Woodburn Baptist Church, that's in Warren County. Tell me a little bit about why you joined FFA. So I joined FFA mainly because it's kind of a family tradition. I really had no choice but I'm really glad that my family pushed me towards that. My grandfather was an advisor for many, many years in Hopkins County. And then my dad was chapter president. His sister was chapter president. His sister was a state officer. And then when they moved to Logan County, both of my siblings joined the Logan County chapter and they were both chapter vice presidents. So I was kind of expected to be in the chapter, but then it became my own choice as the time came nearer. So tell me a little bit about that. Since it is a family tradition and it, it was just going to be that you were going to be a part of FFA, what, what do you say that you've gained the most from your FFA career? Definitely like how to work with a team. So since I'm the president, you know, a lot of people think that I would be like in charge of the chapter, but it's really not that at all. I work with everybody and work, especially with the advisors, really close with them and the rest of my senior officer team as well. So just working with people and being part of a team and a community. What's been your favorite activity? I know there's so many things that you can do with FFA, but what's been your favorite? My favorite would actually be state convention. A lot of people would say national convention, but state convention is my favorite because it's in Kentucky, in Lexington, you get to explore the city and you just get to meet people that you're likely going to see again um, in the future. And it has been a different experience, I'm sure, being, leading your chapter um, this year with the events and hybrid schedules and those type of things. But you guys have still accomplished quite a bit this year. Mm-hmm. So we normally would have had much more events by now, but things that COVID didn't stop us from doing, we were able to cook for the community where we normally would have done it for the tobacco festival. And we did it, we set up at the extension office and we just had like a one day drive through and we did just as well as we would have done at the regular tobacco festival. So we were able to raise money for our chapter for that. And then in normal years, we would have had a canned food drive. We team up with the FCCLA here and we have a canned food drive and we weren't able to host that this year, but we did use some of our funds and we purchased 1000 cans and FCCLA purchased about a thousand cans. And we took them to the Good Samaritan and the Agape Foundation here in Logan County. So I'm th- you bring up a good topic. So when people think about FFA, they a lot of times think about farm kids and public speaking events. But you just mentioned some community service activities that I think most people might not think about when they think about FFA. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's in our motto is living to serve. And so we try to com- encompass that in a lot of what we do as a chapter. So not just serving the community, but we also serve the teachers here. We thank them and make sure to participate in like teacher appreciation. And we just give them a lot of thanks for how much they help us out. And what a year to show them some appreciation. (laughs) You'll graduate this year. What's next for Lindsay? So I have planned on attending University of Kentucky and I'm not 100% set on a major, but I've been looking at marketing and economics and possibly a minor in ag but for sure I'm going to UK. And then I've looked into state office, but it's not set in stone yet either. So we'll see how that plays out. So you guys will just have to stay tuned to see where Lindsay Brinkley winds up next. But Lindsay, I appreciate you visiting with us today and wish you you much success in the future. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Well, if you have any questions about FFA, make sure to contact your local advisor. Thanks for watching the Farm and Home Show and we hope you have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.